lot of people suffer from sore shoulders, perhaps from being hunched over the computer all day. Or maybe you just don't like the way that your shoulder and your back area look. Today we're going to use the Life Fitness G7 Home Gym to focus on those areas. Alright Maureen, let's start with one of the most traditional exercises, just a simple shoulder press. So grab a hold of both of the handles. Okay. We're going to start with both arms, starting at your shoulders and pressing up over top of your head. Both together? Both together, you betcha. It's working all the shoulder muscles, the back muscles, the triceps as well. You can do it with both arms or one arm at a time. This is just a great exercise to work all the shoulder muscles in what we call a functional manner, the way that you use them in the real world. Now do I keep my knees bended or should they be straight while I'm doing this? You want to have a slight bend in the knees and keep your lower abdominal muscles nice and tight. Keep your, keep your waistline tight. Now Jamie, when I do these exercises, I find sometimes the next day I wake up with a massive headache. Yeah, you know what, a lot of folks will experience that and sometimes what it is is while you're doing the exercise, people tend to thrust their, their necks forward or their chins forward. So just make sure that you're keeping your head in a normal neutral position. All right, the next exercise we're going to try, Maureen, is called the upright row. Go ahead and grab one handle with both hands, okay. standing right in front of the pulley, starting at the waist, pulling the pulley up to just below your chin, driving those elbows up, this is working the front shoulder muscles, the neck muscles, and a little bit into the biceps. Cool. Again, this is another good functional exercise because it really works all those muscles involved with lifting something up. And how many reps am I doing? With all of these exercises, we're trying to tone and build some endurance into the shoulders. So we're looking for 15 to 20 repetitions of each exercise. All right, Maureen, now the one muscle that we want to make sure we work is the back of the shoulders. That is one area that often gets missed in a lot of people's training routine. So we're going to do a rotator cuff exercise. Go ahead and grab the pulley with one hand. Okay. And just a simple rotation, keeping your elbow locked into the side of your body and twist the hand outwards. So just right up against my, my hip? Yeah, keep, keep that elbow tucked right into the hip, right into the side, and all you're doing is hinging along the elbow joint. You're going to start to feel a burn in the yep. back of the shoulder muscle. Feels so good though. It, it does feel good. It's a tiny little muscle. When you strengthen up that muscle, it, puts, it provides a lot of stability around the shoulder joint. That feels great. It won't feel great soon. Look now. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to get very hard to do. There you go. A couple of simple exercises to strengthen and tone the shoulder and the back area. See you next week.